Trump punishes Kim, USA Treasury slaps huge sanctions on North Korea banks in WW3 threat. The move is part of a drive to cut off financial support for Pyongyang's nuclear and missile programs. A statement from the OFAC said, the individuals sanctioned today are North Korean nationals operating in China, Russia, Libya and the United Arab Emirates who act as representatives of North Korean banks. OFAC also identified two banks as part of the government of North Korea. As a result of today's action, any property or interests in property of the designated persons in the possession or control of U.S. persons or within the United States must be blocked. Any property or interests in property of the designated persons in the possession or control of U.S. persons or within the United States must be blocked. The North Korean banks affected are, Agricultural Development Bank, Child Credit Bank, Hanna Banking Corporation Limited, International Industrial Development Bank, Jinmi On Joint Bank, Jinsong Joint Bank, Kaurio Commercial Bank Limited and Rijiang Commercial Bank. Treasury Secretary Stephen Nutchen said, we are targeting North Korean banks and financial facilitators acting as representatives for North Korean banks across the globe. This further advances our strategy to fully isolate North Korea in order to achieve our broader objectives of a peaceful and denuclearized Korean peninsula. This action is also consistent with UN Security Council resolutions. The latest action by the US is part of a concerted drive by countries across the globe to exert economic pressure on the country's leader Kim Jong-un to stop his aspirations to become a nuclear power. Recent resolutions by the United Nations Security Council have increased the sanctions on Pyongyang with one package of measures being described by the U.S. Treasury as the strongest sanctions ever imposed on North Korea. Despite international pressure North Korea has continued to test its ballistic missiles, lately firing them over Japan, which has been seen as a provocative act. In addition both Pyongyang and Washington have been engaged in a tit-for-tat war of words as tensions have escalated. On Monday, North Korea threatened to wipe out Donald Trump, whom he referred to as a deranged dotard, and his American war maniacs, which came in response to Mr. Trump's threat of totally destroying North Korea. In the latest comments from Mr. Trump he said that the US was prepared to take military action as a way of bringing to an end the tensions with North Korea. During a press conference in Washington he claimed that any such move by the US would be devastating for Pyongyang.